Brazil is one of the deadliest places to be transgender. In 2020 alone, at least 124 transgender people were murdered. The number of reported murders of transgender people in 2021 has already surpassed the total for 2020. The number of suicides committed by transgender individuals has also increased, the report found. Brazil has made progress in LGBTQ rights over the past few years. In 2022, transphobia and homophobia were criminalized by the country's highest court. But today I have searched a lot and created this list for you. In this list, you will find the top 10 most beautiful transgenders in Brazil. But before that if you are new to our channel please do subscribe to our channel and give us a like, which will motivate me to bring news stories for you. Now let's move to our story back. Number 10 is Jessica Alves. Jessica Alves, or Rodrigo Alves, was born on July 30, 1983. She is a Brazilian-British television personality noted for having undergone dozens of plastic surgeries to alter her appearance. Prior to her transition, she was often referred to as a human Ken doll. Rodrigo Alves was born on July 30, 1983, in Sao Paulo, Brazil, to a Brazilian mother and a British father. Her father, Roserville Alves, hailed from a Portuguese family that arrived in Brazil in the 1940s. Initially, the family was in the farming trade but expanded their business involvement to include supermarkets, shopping centers, and real estate. Her grandfather used to buy her Barbie dolls when she was a child. Although Alves was assigned male at birth, from the age of 3, 4, 5, and 6, she considered herself to be female, played with dolls, and cross-dressed. She feels people should not be defined by gender. Number 9 is Valentina Sampaio. Born on December 10, 1996, in Aquaraz, Sierra, Brazil, Valentina Sampaio is a model and actress. She gained popularity in August of 2019 when she became Victoria's Secret's first openly transgender model. She made history again last year when she became the first openly transgender model in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Sampaio initially studied architecture in Fortaleza but dropped out at 16 to study fashion. It was there that a makeup artist discovered her and signed her with a Sao Paulo modeling agency. In 2016, she walked her first runway at Sao Paulo Fashion Week. In February of 2017, she received international media attention after appearing on the cover of Vogue Paris and becoming the first transgender model to appear on the magazine's cover. Since then, the 24-year-old has not looked back. She has become an icon for many. No Number 8 is Lee T. Leandra Medeiros Cerezo, known professionally as Lee T., was born on February 19, 1981. She is a Brazilian-born, Italian-raised transgender fashion model. She has been called the muse of Ricardo Tichy, chief creative officer of the British luxury brand Burberry. Her professional last name of T stands for Tichy. She is the face of American hair care brand Redken. She is also a transgender pop culture icon in the LGBT community. She has stated that discrimination against LGBT people is an ongoing issue and that society has more work to do before it is resolved. T was born male and raised in Italy as the daughter of well-known former Brazilian football player Toninho Cerezo. Lee T was first discovered by model agent Piero Piazzi, who signed her when she was 17, before her transition. Givenchy senior designer Ricardo Tichy then discovered her, asking her to assist him before making her the face of Givenchy in late 2010. Her first runway show was for Alexander Herchkovich during Sao Paulo Fashion Week in January 2011. T has featured in campaigns for Givenchy, Benetton, and Philip Plain, shot by Terry Richardson. Number 7 is Roberta Close. Roberta Gambine Moreira was born on December 7, 1964. She is a Brazilian fashion model, actress, and television personality. She is constantly mentioned in the media as one of the greatest Brazilian icons and one of the main sex symbols in the country between the 1980s and 1990s, in addition to being a pioneer of transfeminism in her native country. 
After debuting as a star at Carnival in 1980, Close gained notoriety as the main character of the 1984 video for the song Da Um Close Nila, by Erasmo Carlos. In the video, which achieved great commercial success after its release on Fantastico, she plays a transvestite who attracts male gazes as she walks through the streets of Rio de Janeiro. The same year, she became the first transgender model to appear in Playboy magazine, in a best-selling issue. Later, Roberta Close has appeared on the catwalk for numerous fashion houses, including Thierry Mugler, Guy Laroche, and Jean-Paul Gaultier. She has also been featured in editorials for Vogue and wrote a memoir called Muito Praiser with Roberta Close in 1997. No Number 6 is Fernanda. Fernanda was born and raised in a small town in Brazil. From a young age, she knew that she was different from the other children around her. She struggled with her gender identity for many years, feeling trapped in a body that didn't match who she truly was. As Fernanda grew older, she became more aware of the transgender community and began to see herself in their stories. She realized that she was a transgender woman and started taking steps towards living as her true self. Fernanda faced many challenges along the way. Her family and friends were not initially supportive of her transition, and she experienced discrimination and prejudice from others in her community. But despite these obstacles, she remained determined to live authentically. Fernanda became involved in the transgender community, where she found a supportive network of people who understood her struggles. She also became an advocate for transgender rights, speaking out against discrimination and fighting for equal rights for all. Through her advocacy work, Fernanda became a well-known figure in the LGBTQ community in Brazil. She helped organize pride events and worked to raise awareness about the issues faced by transgender people in the country. Her courage and determination inspired many people, and she became a role model for other transgender individuals who were struggling to find acceptance and support. Number 5 is Beatriz. Beatriz was born and raised in the bustling city of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Growing up, she was always drawn to the arts, particularly music and dance. Her parents recognized her talents early on and encouraged her to pursue her passions. As a teenager, Beatriz began performing with local dance groups and music ensembles. Her talent and dedication quickly caught the attention of industry professionals, and she was soon offered the opportunity to tour with a well-known Brazilian pop star. After several successful years on the road, Beatriz decided to take a break from performing and focus on her education. She enrolled in a prestigious university in Rio de Janeiro, where she studied literature and developed a deep love of Brazilian poetry and prose. Following graduation, Beatriz moved to Europe to continue her studies and explore the world. She lived in several different countries, including Spain, Italy, and France, and became fluent in several languages. During this time, she also began to write her own poetry and short stories, drawing on the rich cultural heritage of her native Brazil for inspiration. Number 4 is Larissa. Larissa was born and raised in the vibrant city of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. From a young age, she showed a strong interest in science and technology. Her parents encouraged her curiosity and provided her with the tools and resources she needed to explore her interests. As a teenager, Larissa attended a prestigious science and technology high school, where she excelled in math, physics, and computer science. Her exceptional academic performance earned her a full scholarship to study engineering at the top university in Brazil. After graduating with honors, Larissa began her career in the tech industry. She quickly rose through the ranks, becoming a lead engineer at a prominent Brazilian startup. Her innovative ideas and dedication to her work led to the development of several groundbreaking products and technologies that earned her industry recognition and praise. Number 3 is Camila. Camila was born and raised in a small town in the countryside of Brazil. From a young age, she knew she was different from her peers and struggled to understand her own identity. It wasn't until she was a teenager that she learned about the LGBTQ community and realized that she was gay. As Camilla began to explore her identity, she became increasingly interested in LGBTQ activism. She started attending rallies and protests, speaking out against discrimination and advocating for equal rights for all. 
Her passion and dedication quickly caught the attention of other activists in the community, and she was soon asked to join a local LGBTQ organization. Through her work with the organization, Camila became a prominent LGBTQ activist in Brazil. She helped organize pride events and worked to raise awareness about LGBTQ issues in her community. Her efforts earned her recognition and support from many people, including politicians and celebrities. Camilla's activism also led her to pursue a career in law, where she focused on advocating for LGBTQ rights in the legal system. Number 2 is Amanda. Amanda was born and raised in a small town in rural Brazil. From a young age, she knew that she was different from the other kids in her town. As she grew older, she realized that she was transgender, but she was too scared to come out to her family and friends. It wasn't until Amanda moved to the city for college that she found the courage to come out as transgender. She started transitioning and began living as a woman, but she faced many challenges along the way. Her family was not supportive of her transition, and she lost many friends who didn't understand or accept her. Despite these challenges, Amanda was determined to live her life authentically. She became involved in the local transgender community, where she found support and solidarity with other trans women. She also became an advocate for transgender rights, speaking out against discrimination and fighting for equal rights for all. Through her activism, Amanda became a prominent figure in the LGBTQ community in Brazil. She helped organize pride events and worked to raise awareness about the issues faced by transgender people in the country. Her courage and determination inspired many people, and she became a role model for other transgender individuals who were struggling to find acceptance and support. Now it's time for the number one. Julia. Julia was born and raised in a large city in Brazil. From a young age, she was known for her beauty, but she was also recognized for her intelligence and kindness. Julia was a dedicated student, and she excelled in both her academic and extracurricular pursuits. After graduating from high school, Julia decided to pursue a career in the fashion industry. She moved to Sao Paulo, where she quickly made a name for herself as a model. Her striking features and confident demeanor caught the attention of industry professionals, and she soon became one of the most sought-after models in Brazil. Despite her success in the fashion industry, Julia was always looking for new challenges and opportunities. She began to explore other areas of the entertainment industry, including acting and hosting. Her talent and charisma quickly earned her roles in television shows and movies, and she became a well-known figure in Brazilian pop culture. Outside of her career, Julia was also involved in charitable work. She used her platform to raise awareness and funds for causes that were important to her, including environmental conservation and animal welfare. Overall, Julia was admired for her beauty, but she was also respected for her intelligence, talent, and kindness. She was a true icon in Brazil, and she inspired many people to follow their dreams and make a positive impact on the world. So now the list ends here. And if you like the video don't forget to give us a like and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.